Well, I'm here uh, with uh, Jim Simonelli, uh, Senior Vice President and Chief Technology Officer at Secure Power Division at uh, Data Center Segment of Snyder Electric. Welcome, Jim. Uh, Jim, uh, this is your first time at Kickstart, right? Yes, it's first time actually being here. It's a okay. great show. You, you like it? Yeah, yeah, quite a bit. It's a great place to network. Uh, you get the right mix of, of people here to have a great time to, to talk about the future. Okay. Um, what well, important topic here is uh, data and AI. What kind of trends do you see uh, about data, AI, and the data center business? It's interesting right now. So we're we're definitely in an interesting dynamic where uh, we're at the first stage uh, where we're trying to train a lot of large language models, which is forcing data centers to think about how to be you know ultra dense, 50, 100 kilowatts per rack. Uh, using liquid cooling dimensions, all those things are very specialized data centers that uh, you know used to be. You know, we can do them technically, but to do them at scale is the biggest challenge. And the good news is that those types of data centers, because it will run with probably um, hotter fluids, they're more dense. They actually can be quite sustainable uh, in the in that space. But we have to remember that AI is not just training; it's also inferencing. And that interesting part, which is how we use those models, has an opportunity to be deployed in existing spaces which also means that we can we can better utilize space that's already available, which has a, a, a very strong sustainability story as well. Okay, and um, how um, do you address the, the sustainability uh, impact? Because uh, the data centers uh, need, to, need to be modernized, mm -hmm. but uh, the, the sustainability uh, factors in nowadays very important. Yeah, so look, you know, you know, step one is to drive efficiency up. Uh, and to drive efficiency up, you can do that in existing stock, uh, with improving, uh, making sure that the amount of power entering a building can actually get, you know, get the uh, get to the IT space. The other thing is to make sure that IT space is fully utilized, so you don't have to break new ground or uh, or use concrete to build those things. But the idea is to kind of really drive that efficiency out and maximize what's in the existing stock today. And that's what the technologies that we're trying to provide, particularly on the on the cooling chiller side, the yeah. heat projection side, where there's the most opportunity to gain is uh, is what's going on right now. Yeah. Especially also energy, right? Because energy is very important uh, topic nowadays. Yeah, my goal is to make sure that uh, you know every electron that comes from power, hopefully renewable power, makes it right to the IT load. We can provide the proper work, and it's not wasted in uh, uh, in being rejected as uh, as extraneous heat or lost inside of any power conversion stage. That's our, our goal, and we're we're one of the leading uh, leading companies to try to you know uh, lead that way forward. What what's your what are your favorite to the Schneider Electric solutions? Yeah, so the, the fact I would say, there's probably two. So if you asked me a few years ago, I'd be talking about the value of our very dense, high efficient UPS products. Yeah. But today, uh, you know, the, the most interesting things are actually happening on the heat rejection side. Okay. Uh, ability to kind of, uh, you know, have ultra efficient um, chillers and cooling plants. And also right now, tweaking now into liquid cooling and, and cooling distribution. That's where a lot of the action is on, on that side to really accommodate that. Uh, high performance, high dense computing side, a lot going on on the on the cooling side. It's pretty interesting to come. Okay. Why should an IT decision maker or channel partner choose for Schneider Electric? I think the biggest thing is that we think about the data center as a system, so it's not just around a powertrain, a cooling train, and uh, uh, you know, and white space. Actually, they all interact with one another. And Schneider, because we have such a full portfolio and we basically think about a data center as a system, is uh, you kind of get the best of all worlds working with us because we know how they all interact for the best interest of the end client, whether it be an enterprise, a hyperscaler, or a cola provider itself. What can we expect more from Schneider Electric in the future? Ah, so <laughs> I think there is, uh, you know, you can think about, you know, what we're doing on sustainability from an efficiency improvement perspective. The next game change is truly on the decarbonization mission as well. So things like uh, using natural refrigerants, um, how to recycle and reuse power, recycle area. That those are the real, uh, you know, novelty changes that are emerging uh, in our future, and, and more to come on that space as well. Thank you so much, Jim.